while you were working, um, I was taking a little bit of time to think over the events of the last few days. Friday, BTS won some awards at MAMA 2018, and during an acceptance speech for Artist of the Year, Jin made a suggestion that, according to the translations a lot of people are reading, suggested that earlier in this year, they took a little bit of time to talk about the future, including the possibility of, of maybe disbanding. Obviously, it's a very natural thing when you're in a job for five years, you have to re-examine and make sure you're doing what you want to be doing. It was a very natural, like, healthy thing to suggest or consider, but we were triggered, like, full-on emotional breakdowns across the globe. As fans were, I think, confronted with the reality that things change, things grow, people grow, people change. Sometimes groups you love break up. We've all been through it with different groups. I personally was very impacted by the suggestion that BTS had considered it. To what extent they considered this, I don't know. No one will know. We weren't in the room. But it got me talking to a lot of other fans and a lot of friends. And I think we all were surprised and a little shaken up with the idea. So I just want to say, after a weekend of wallowing in my own self-pity at the thought of losing something so important to me, I'm taking today to look at all of the things in my life that I'm grateful for thanks to BTS, including the fact that they did not disband. They are moving forward as a group, and they are making a commitment to continue to provide the excellent content that we so love and crave. First of all, I have made so many incredible friends through BTS online, friends through friends I know in, in real life who have introduced me to other people who are interested. The memes. The memes. I can never explain to you what the memes mean to me. They mean so much. I love, I love the memes. I'm also super grateful for the music. If, if they had decided to, to walk away, we wouldn't have like three albums plus Dang, and you know how I feel about Dang. Not being able to purchase Dang is still better than a world without Dang. I'm also just so grateful for the positivity that they've put into my life in the last few years, especially this past year. I feel like they've said things, even offhandedly, that I found super comforting and, and that I've needed in a way that I didn't necessarily realize. And it makes me doubly grateful that they decided to continue on as a group and not break my heart because I am taking it personally that they even thought about it. We'll get over it eventually. But anyway, to close, I just want to say thank you to BTS for, for continuing on and making the decision to stay together. And I'm going to stop being sad about the idea or the eventuality that all things must end. Because until then, I'm just going to enjoy every single moment that you give me. Also, I took two more online quizzes recently. Who's your BTS soulmate? And two was which member of BTS are you? And I got V for both. What does that do other than prove the message BTS has been trying to tell me all along? I am the one I should love in this world. Hope you had a good day at work.